Hello there. In case you're wondering what these are for, it's to do with the seasons and showing uh, why it's generally hotter in the Northern Hemisphere in the summer than it is in the winter. So I was discussing this with uh, our technician, Chris, and uh, I was talking about maybe we need to use some tubes to show this. And Chris came up with a great idea of using a Pringles tin, so or two Pringles tins here. So nice repurposed physics idea from Chris. So um, in the UK summer, or the Northern Hemisphere summer, you've got an angle midsummer. This is a, a tube of light, so they're both the same. It's both the same width, these tubes. So at the height of summer, you've got uh, that tube of light is making an angle there of around 61 degrees um, to the Earth's surface there. And um, in the winter then, and this is of course the Northern Hemisphere, then in the winter in the Northern Hemisphere, there's quite a bit dramatic change of angle. And now you've got an angle of about 16 degrees between um, this uh, tube of sunlight and the Earth's surface. And so you have a huge difference here in the area in which is the sunlight is spread out. So in the summer, the same amount of sunlight is more concentrated. The energy is more concentrated. The heat is more concentrated. This is why it's, why it's warmer in the summer. And what you could do with this is uh, you could get the students to trace round. So in the winter, this is a rough trace here of this shape. And you can see that in the winter, the same amount of sunlight is spread over a larger area than in the summer, it's quite markedly smaller area. So uh, it's not really a new idea in terms of using this kind of angle thing, but I think using a Pringles tin is quite a neat idea there. Like not my idea, as I said, this is uh, our technician's great idea there for using simple kit to explain things that to be honest, are not always that well understood by students. So there we go.